What up, Lottery Sox fam? Hopefully you guys are all enjoying your weekend. Today is just a little bit more of a relaxed video, but I do want to talk about what the SEC has just done. They finally have done it. They adopted rules to increase transparency in short selling and basically to amend the cat. If you don't know what the cat is, I'm going to put it up here on the screen. A long time ago, Trey's Trades has talked about it, but this could be very good for us and we're going to talk about why in today's video. Of course, again, guys, hopefully you enjoy watching this video and if you do, hit that like button hit that subscribe button i'm also going to be talking about how gamestop may have serious moves this october as well as amc so let's get into the video okay so the sec just adopted this new transparency rule and here are the things that you really have to take from it short sale reporting used to be voluntary so that wasn't a good thing nobody had to necessarily report their short positions and that was a problem for us in the past for several different videos right because we assume citadel is short amc but there is no hard evidence, even though, you know, there is, but you guys get what I'm saying. So it used to be voluntary. What is the change now? Now short sale reporting is every 15 minutes. Okay. This daily reporting is going to be made public as well using the consolidated audit trail that we talked about in the beginning, AKA the cat. This is going to be made public through RNSA. So we will be able to see short positions from there, increasing transparency. I believe the size and what they're short, yada, 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 all the details. And what's good about this is AMC just had a, and what's good about this is AMC, for example, just had a negative 14% day, yet all of those FTDs last month just randomly disappeared. The price kept selling off, yada, yada, yada. So it's kind of just like clear manipulation. And now we're going to see it firsthand, hopefully. Now, here are some reasons short sellers personally don't like this. And I have quotes for you. In quotes, public knowledge of their short positions would render them susceptible to a short squeeze and also reduce the incentives to engage in this beneficial activity. However, if one goes short, there is no theoretical limit on how much one might lose. Sometimes short sellers are captured in a short squeeze as the price keeps rising, their potential losses increase. Finishing this up, every time I'm reminded of the potential for infinite loss from shorting i'm amazed that it's even legal for institutions to short if private individual investors want to short that's fine it's their money that they're going to lose if they make a bad bet but when institutions make a bad bet this is their customers money that they're losing so in other words this is bad for short sellers in this case scenario because it is going to make short sellers short selling right anyone who engages in it more susceptible to get squeezed out of short positions so retail is going to be able to see positions and basically target certain institutions and squeeze them out which is going to make short selling way more dangerous way more dangerous not only that but it's more dangerous for institutions because us retail investors could squeeze out clients money so let's say you're 40 years old, you go through a hedge fund to invest your money and the average Joe like me and people on Wall Street bets who take some degen trades end up basically stealing your pension from BlackRock's hands. This is another reason it's bad for short sellers and short selling in general and will probably push people away from going short. Now we all know they have been trying to get Gary Gensler out of office and I'm not sure. I'm kind of on the fence with Gary. It's like almost like Adam Aaron. They do things that are sketchy, but at the same time, it's like, are they for us? It's weird. But basically, Gary Gensler just got subpoenaed. And this comes after this ruling, which is interesting, I believe. And in quotes, Gary Gensler said today, I am pleased based upon public comment, we are adopting a rule fulfilling that congressional mandate. Today's adoption will promote greater transparency about short selling both to regulators and the public. So Gary Gensler is for retail or is not for retail either way citadel had a problem with recent proposals short sellers are having problem with these proposals and gary gensler is still moving forward and now he's getting subpoenaed now i wanted to touch on this before we move on to citadel parabolic season could just be around the corner last october 31st in 2022 gamestop had four halts during the day a lot of volatility was coming in, uh, at least for GameStop compared to the average trading volume, yada, yada, yada. And you can see, I'll pull it up on the screen right here. The October, November cycles on GameStop had a ton of volatility. You had this large move and then another large move. So whether it's up or down or both uh, in the second case scenario, GameStop has a large move. So since we are very oversold, this could be very positive for GameStop because that means there's more room for upside coming onto that volatility zone, especially with what's happening with the market. But this could also be negative and bleed 
GameStop down to about $10.10, worst case scenario, or very worst case scenario, $4.70, basically like AMC right that bloody sell-off over the past couple of months so just to put on your radar now this was also supposed to happen in october 2023 so get ready i'm not sure if this is going to affect anything migration open cds positions from ice clear europe ltd to a new central clearing counterparty ahead of iceu's planned discontinuation of cds's clearing services in october 2023 also citadel's energy trading firm has just entered the gsd arena what does this mean FICC announces that effective october 19th 2023 citadel fnge ltd will be added as a sponsored member of the government securities division in quotes the service may allow eligible institution firms to engage in greater activity than otherwise feasible outside of central clearing this probably means that the criminals will be able to bypass the new sec rule that requires them to report short positions every day so very sketchy and kind of bad it is kind of bad but let's take a look at what's actually happening so this could be bad but not necessarily for us it's, it's bad in the sense that we want citadel to go under but the too big to fail may have just been proven citadel is making connections with the government um tying in different subsidiaries looks like this is the third one this year so it looks like retail may get our money right we may get our money but citadel may be bailed out of the situation now another piece of big news do Quan tfl now blames citadel securities for the terra collapse what do you guys think about this in the comments down below finally also very odd an appeal has been filed we saw ape i don't know i don't even know how this is coming back up or why it's coming back up when the settlement was already reached we saw ape being traded we saw the cost of borrow changing even though it's delisted and an appeal has just been filed and the saga continues so my question is were they supposed to because they were supposed to cover on ape right did they not cover because they couldn't and now they're trying to appeal it and have everything reversed so that they don't forcefully have to cover in the near future this is the only thing i can think of otherwise i can't wrap my head around this plus clients of blackrock inc withdrew a net total of 13 billion dollars from long-term investment funds making the first outflows since the beginning of the pandemic in 2020 so blackrock not doing too hot as clients are withdrawing a ton of money from the fund and finally taylor swift era's tour move movie earns the second biggest October opening day of all time domestically at $39 million just behind the Joker at $39.3 million. On top of that, the head-turning early reports are in on Rotten Tomatoes for Taylor Swift, the Eras Tour. Critics score 100% and the audience score 100%, so it literally could not get better than this. Hop in the Discord if you guys want to talk with me and 500 of the most amazing people on the daily stocks all day long, whether you're a beginner or advanced trader, this is the place to go. The link is right under the video and pinned in the top of comments, so get in the Discord, guys. You will not regret it. We also have options trading alerts in there. We post gains post losses and more so there's no reason not to be in there also guys if you want up to 16 free stocks each valued up to a couple grand do it on the weekend while you have nothing else to do it takes two minutes out of your day each of these stocks are valued up to two grand so it's a chance at thirty-two thousand dollars plus a guaranteed tesla or google stock which are expensive tickers fifty dollars sent to your account to trade with with no stipulations there's no reason not to do it if you haven't done it already and if you have use your family's phones to do it again and get those benefits all you have to do use my link sign up and make a deposit of any amount to start earning from there overall guys that is what i got for you for today's video hopefully you enjoyed watching or found value out of the video make sure to subscribe get us to 17k subs by the end of this video enjoy the rest of your weekend i love you all lottery socks out